just jump right into it because I Calendar think it's going to take us three hours just to get through what we want to say. Sure. Um, <laughs> boys, yeah. let's get going with, I think, one of the most shocking hires, but the best one. <laughs> Nathan Maccabi being hired as VP of Communications for the Montreal Canadiens. So just yeah. walk us through your initial reactions when you learn and what do you feel having like having Chantal right now? What's your what's your report card on her? That's it. Cool that. I mean, that that hire January 5th, right? Start off the year with a bang. Um, you know, VP of Communications was never a position that we'd make a video on and say, okay, who are our top picks? Like who could be a replacement? We never really paid much attention to that position, but when Chantal Maccabi was hired, right? She is someone who's not only respected here in Montreal in the province of Quebec, but all across the hockey world. Like everybody knows her, everybody respects her, and she has done a tremendous job. She like A plus, A plus. You asked me for my report card. Um, great hire by by Jeff Molson there. And she's she's done an outstanding job. I don't think we ever doubted her though. No, not at all. Dixie. Yeah, no, I, I think that uh, based on what I learned from her, from you guys, because because honestly, like you guys can understand a lot more of what she says than I can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> being, you know, she speaks her first language is French, just like uh, yourself and Nick and, and Shane. Is your first language French, too? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, exactly. So uh, enough said. So uh, so right then and there. But you know how her reputation was with RDS. She's been in the business for over 30 years. And um you know, it's just someone with the heart. She's got the heart of the Canadians. That, mm. That's that's to me something that just she just has. And you guys saw in the thumbnail, you know, Guy Lafleur and passing the torch. And and uh, Chantel knew what it meant to be a Montreal Canadian as a fan, as a media member, and on a personal level with these players. And that's the legends, specifically Guy Lafleur, but not just Guy, with everybody. And uh, she had and has a way of just, I don't know how to put it in words. Like it's one of those intangibles that you can't always describe that she has, but she has it. And yeah. she has that trust, especially with, you know, the French players, but also the English players and just the ability to communicate, hence the position title, uh, really well with the players, the fans, everybody, and just has everything that you could possibly want in this position, this position for this franchise. And, and I think Nick, I'd rather hear from your side because you've gotten to know her personally a little bit and we've tried to get her on the show. She's so busy and uh, hopefully one day we still will. Yeah, for sure. It's still a, it's still a goal of ours to to have Chantal for Autour de la Ligue or just a French show for our French fans, and maybe we'll get a few a uh, few English questions in there as well. But just for me, I think it's from the women's side of things. Um, women in sports is still a very taboo subject, apparently in 2022, almost 2023. So when the organization was talking about having more diversity and breaking those barriers. I think it was the perfect opportunity to name her as a VP uh, to replace Paul Wilson, which again, like you said, we never really talked about that position or knew anything about it, but now having her as our VP of communications, we, we've got, we, we know more, right? She's taking those That's steps it. to communicate, well, obviously communicate, which is her position, but communicate with us fans and the media, there's been a huge change with the mm -hmm. media. If you've noticed, I think this is a big theme for this season. Um, a lot more things are being discussed. The organization's more open when it comes to injuries, discussing with players, hence uh, Carey Price holding press conferences. You know, things that we didn't see in the past in the Bergevin era. So it's it's very exciting to have her. And I can't wait to see what she's going to do in the near future for us. Uh, it can only get better, in my in my honest opinion.